Hi YouTube, happy Sunday and happy December. In tonight's video I'll show you how you can make PPP connections with your Palm Z22 focusing on the Palm side of the equation this time. I also want to show you how you can use a Telnet client for your Palm OS device to post to BBS's and do everything else that a Telnet client can do. I have my Palm Z22 down here connected by mini USB cable to the Toshiba Satellite L455 Ubuntu laptop that you might know better from the Copacetic Music Hour. Indeed, I have this Palm connected to the laptop that I use for streaming the show. In this case though, I'll use that laptop as a PPP host. And before I do that, I'm going to go down into preferences here and show you how I initialize that PPP network connection. I first click on preferences, then I go to network here under communication, which I've re-enabled through the Z22 uh, network enabler uh, installation I talked about in the previous video. And I have this set to have a Linux PPP service. I don't really need to worry about the username or password because PPPD is set up as no authentication, no auth. I have my connections set to PPP. And under details, you can see connection type, again, PPP. I could also have slip or C-slip connections. Idle timeout of one minute, DNS queries, and IP address set not to automatic or DHCP, but to 192.168.0.250, which is what I have set in PPPD. My cat's very happy about uh, not using DHCP. She doesn't really want to get out of the way. And with that, I'll go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to initialize the connection first on the Palm side. I'm going to press Connect and then run my script to start up PPPD on the Linux machine. Okay, and we should be connected. That was very quick, as you saw. I can click Done, or before I click Done, I'll show you again if I go to Options, to the View Log setting of the uh, network preferences. There's some information here about the established PPP connection. In addition, there is a box in which I can type test commands like ping. Let's go ahead and try pinging. Ping. Uh, oops. Pinging google.com. Ping. I recently posted to the level 29 BBS all in graffiti. Yeah. Google. Oh, wow, I'm really wearing this surface out. Okay. And indeed, we got a reply from Google. I'll zoom in a little bit to show you that. You can see 32 bytes from 142.251.163.99. DNS is working and we have a connection to the internet over proxy ARP with the wireless connection. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click done there. And what I'll use to establish a Telnet connection is uh, a very nice Telnet client application called PTelnet that I believe is from Mario Migueletto Andragi. I know I'm personally, oh, oh excuse me, Marcio Migueletto G. Andragi in Brazil. He also has a newer version of PTelnet called PTelnet.7 that he released in 2020. Really great application. Okay, so I'll go ahead and go first to network settings. I have the host set for the level 29 BBS at bbs.fostex.com, port 23. And then for the terminal, I have that set to Telnet, carriage return, small font, 40 columns, no local echo. And I think that's all I need here. Let me go ahead and click on, put on there. And we should see the entry graphics of the level 29 BBS. 
I'll try and get another post here. I it might take me you know longer than five or ten minutes. In that case, I'll have to um, finish it after the video. But I just want to give you a sense of of what you can do here. M O L L E R A J. And then okay, so for the password, I'll just. Uh, use the keyboard here and um, take this out of view for a second. We have a little green screen for you all to see. Okay, and we're in. So I might go ahead and Log in, Let's see 40 by 24, VT100, ASCII. I might honestly um, first show you the message that I posted. Read all messages. This is now we're about six and a half minutes in. My cat's watching me from behind the camera, wondering what's going on. Okay. I had posted an entry for the Portable Portables Week contest on the Retro Battle Station subreddit that ends today, December 1st. And I just want to show you that post really quick. Q, okay. Yeah, I think what I'll do is, is just show you that, that post since I think it'll take a little too long uh, to compose a message here. Why should I waste your precious time? God. Okay. Go me message number 18149. And that message was entirely composed and edited in Graffiti. I shouldn't brag, but I am bragging about how great my Graffiti 2 skills are. That I was able to compose the whole message in Graffiti. And let's go ahead and view that nice and clear in teeny, teeny, tiny font. Hi, retro uh, subreddit Retro Battle Stations. I am posting from a Palm Z22 connected to the internet through PPP over USB. I then logged into the level 29 BBS with the Palm OS Telnet client PTelnet. All this thanks to the Palm Z22 network enabler. Happy Portables Week! User Molar AJ, December 1st, 2024. And there you have it. A BBS post from your cute tiny little USB tethered, in a sense, Palm OS device. Let's go ahead and quit. Oh, that's not a Q. It's more than nine Q. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. And go to the main menu and then log off. Oh, did I press Q again? Oh, oops. Well, that's funny. Um, that kind of gets at what Nino Ivanov was asking me to do, to log into something War Games looking. I guess that killed a episode for the YouTube channel, but not really. I'll have another episode where I run a server on this Palm OS device, either a HTTP server or an FTP server, and make a video about it, and have kind of an entertaining web page to look at. Okay, so let's quit that. Um, five is quit. And then let's log off. Okay, and press enter. Thank you for visiting, and you'll get this little message saying connection closed. Isn't that awesome? I hope you enjoyed this video, a quick demo both of how to set up a PPP connection on the Palm Z22 from the Palm side, as well as something you can do with that PPP connection, which is making Telnet connections to things. I might try connecting this to a Linux machine that allows Telnet connections from only one IP address, 
it's of, telnet's of course not secure so i'd want to have everything firewall that way and besides that there's a lot more that can be done with an internet connection ftp gopher web browsing i'm sure i can think of other things email i i don't know how how secure that is at at this point but i think definitely gopher i'll cover in the future web browsing and potentially ftp connections for both downloading and uploading files i might want to combine in uh, in an additional future video go for an ftp using your palm as a micro flogging tool flogs or gopher blogs where you write up your post on the palm in graffiti and then upload them over FTP to a gopher surfer for people all over the world to read. That would be a really interesting use of these old insecure palms. I always thought these are great machines along with vintage computers for gopher. I also think gopher is great for vintage machines. And that's a gopher hole that I'll be going down in the near future. Hopefully that was enjoyable. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you again for sticking around to see the whole video. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments down below. And have a great start to your week. Have a good one, everybody.